Now what is this non-cyclic process? In the non-cyclic process that your initial state so definitely it is not going to return to its initial state. So the initial state is A P1 V1 yeah and finally it reaches to B P2 V2. So this is a non-cyclic process the system does not return to its initial state. So how we can find the work done over here consider any small strip over here then again that your this is CD over here so which I have shown the volume yeah so this is nothing but the DV the volume is given and this is the pressure which is constant for it okay. So then definitely the DW for this you can write down this is nothing but PDV so likewise you have to take the area yeah so likewise you have to find the work done for this all of them yeah so this is actually the area first of all we will say so this area is nothing but PDV so when you add all these areas so definitely which will get this PDV is nothing but your work done so the total work done is taking the integration PDV from V1 to V2. So this is how we can find the work done also from this indicator method yeah by considering first of all a single strip finding its area then just doing the integration for your all the strips which will give the area or that is nothing but the total work done. So the total work done is simple the area under this curve so which you can find it out easily for this particular case. So what is the work done during a cyclic process? So any process in which the system returned to its initial state after undergoing a series of changes is known as a cyclic process. So let's say initially the state is A then it moves to B through the path of X and again it get back to A through the path of Y. So what we have to do over here so when I am saying that it moves from A to B so this is its area under the curve then again so which you have to take it as a positive again if it is a clockwise again it is moving from B to A that is anti-clockwise so again its area is nothing but negative so what is the net area is this one so this is the area under this curve which will give you the value of work done so to find the value of work done in case of your cyclic process just consider the area under that of your this your close curve yeah or this close graph over here so this is will give the value of your work done from this case over here so let's say for example over here the one mole of an ideal gas the undergoes a cyclic change a b c d so from the given diagram so the calculate the net work done in the process over here so we had just discussed that in case of cyclic process you have to find the area under that graph so this area of this a b c d so it is a square so this simple we can say that so that is your work done i can just write it down so this is your 4 minus 1 that is a 3 liter and again multiply by that this is 2 to 5 so this is 3 atmosphere yeah again this 3 is nothing but 1 liter is 10 raised to 3 centimeter cube yeah so this is 10 raised to 3 centimeter cube and 3 again atmosphere is your 10 raised to 6 okay so this is simple we can say that this is 9 into 10 to the power 9 yeah so this is what we can say that so 9 into 10 to the power 9 so this is the work done yeah so this is nothing but the work done so which you can write it down over here for this particular case yeah so that is the formula for this one and again for this one you can find that work done is nothing but the energy yeah so the energy that is a joule or arc so since it is a cgs unit so you can write it down that is in terms of your unit of arc over here 